notice it wants me to solve for x. So typically, you're going to want to factor for x. So you're going to think, are there factors of 3 that add up to 2? And I'll just tell you right now, no. The only factors of 3 are 1 and 3, and they add up to 4. So it's not going to factor nicely. So we're going to do, it's called completing the square. You're going to want to get these two terms that have x's in them together, and you're going to take this guy and you're going to throw him on the other side. So what we've got here is x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to leave some space right here. Notice this positive 3, when I move it to the other side, it becomes a negative 3. Okay, making sure my shadows and everything. All right, now I'm going to do what's called completing the square. My goal is I want to be able to write this as something squared. So I'm going to do the magic thing that you've already practiced, and I'm going to find this term right here. Do you remember how you do it? You half it, and then you square it. Okay, so let me come over here, and I'll write these notes just in case. You're going to take this middle term, and you're going to half it. Can you see that, Olivia? And then square it. Allison's learning algebra if she's not careful. So take the 2. If you half it, you get 1. When you square it, you get 1. So that's my magic number. Now look, we have an equation. So I can't add 1 over here unless I add 1 over here as well. Notice I've added the same thing to both sides. Okay, so on this side, I've got negative 3 plus 1. I've got what, negative 2? On this side, the whole reason I did that is so I could write this as x plus 1 squared. Okay, whatever you get when you half this is one number that's going to go right there. I don't know that's a little trick, but do you realize that 1 times 1 gives you 1? That this is the same thing as this. Okay, so now how do you solve? Thank you, Allison. You want me to use purple. Okay, if we're going to solve for x, what's the opposite of squaring something? You're going to take the square root of it. And remember, when you take the square root, you're going to put a little plus or minus there. So what I have here, these cancel each other out. So I have x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 2. Okay? Get the x by itself. So I'm going to move this plus 1 to the other side. How do you do that? You subtract 1. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully it's not too blurry. But you're going to get negative 1 plus or minus... Look at that little negative inside. How do you deal with that? You pull it outside. So that should be your answer right there. That's number five. Wasn't that just a joy? All right, let's try another one. We're going to be doing lots of these. So let's try number six. Can you see that? Um, do you think we... Olivia, do you think you need to come to my other side? Come to my other side real quick. Is it too shadowy? Just a minute. Ooh, that looked good, whatever that was. Commercial break. Commercial break is right. Let me see if that's brighter with her sitting on my other side. I don't know. I just want to make sure everybody can see it. Okay, does that look better, Olivia, or not? Because I'm not the one. Red. Yeah, maybe red will show up better. That green is just not showing up. Now, whatever happened there, it looks pretty good. Okay, we're so professional around here. I love red. Okay. First of all, if they'll factor, then just stink and factor them. Are there factors of 4 that will add up to negative 5? And actually, I believe here they are. Are there not? Can't you say x times x is x squared? Look at this. When you multiply those, do you not get a positive 4? And when you add them, you get a negative 5. So, I mean, we should be good there. So hopefully you can see x is 4 or 1, because 1 minus 1 is 0 or 4 minus 4. So, good grief. If it'll factor, I would not miss with um, completing the square. You could there, but what's the point? Okay, so let's try another one. How about number 7? Because that's our whole point here is we're trying to learn how to complete the square. Um, actually, I'm going to skip that one and do number 8, because I can do that too. I'm looking ahead here. Okay, are there factors of negative 7 that add up to 4? No. Okay, so we're going to have to do what's called completing the square. We're going to put the x's on one side, and we're going to throw him on the other side. So we have this. I'm going to leave a little space, and that negative 7, when you throw it on the other side, now becomes a positive 7. Okay, now, look, this is where we're going to find that magic term right there. How do you do it? You're going to half it and then square it. So look, you take 4 and you half it. You get 2, and when you square it, 
you get four. So that is my magic number. So I'm going to add that to both sides. If I add it to the left, i got to add it to the right. Okay, the whole reason we did that is so I could write this left side as something squared. And that would be x plus 2. Okay, and again, do you see that 2 squared is 4? You can also find this term. If you're having a hard time, this term is always half of that one. What's half of 4 is 2. Okay, notice you're going to get 7 plus 4, you've got 11. Okay, at this point, I doubt yellow is going to show up, Allison, but we can try it. If I take the square root of both sides, I have to put a little plus or minus there. Ew, no, yellow's not good. Don't like yellow. Purple. Okay, so let me do this again. Take the square root of both sides. When you do that, you're going to put a little plus or minus sign right here. These cancel. They're opposite operations, the square and the square root. So you're just left with x plus 2. Always look, if you can reduce this, you know, do it. If it's got a negative, pull it out and make it an I. There's nothing really you can do with 11. So your final answer is, take your 2. It's a positive 2. So if you subtract 2 from both sides, your final answer is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 11. Gross little answer right there, but you guys are smart. You can deal with it. All right. Now, let's look. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do number 7 because number 7 is a little bit more interesting. And I always like the more interesting it is, the better. What? Purple and red don't go. Well, purple and red are great together. What are you talking about? That's Uncle Tony's okay, colors. this first term has to be a 1 to play the game of completing the square. Okay? Now, first of all, if I'm going to complete the square, I could still do this. I probably want to take him, move him to the other side. I'm just going to make him a negative 2. I want this to be a 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a 2. Now these are a little bit more interesting, so you better pay attention. This is going to give me x squared plus 4x. I'm still looking for this magic term right here. Okay. Notice if I multiply this in, I get back exactly what I started. I took the 2, threw him to the other side. There he is. You're still going to find this magic term the same. You're going to half it. So what's half of 4? 2. And then square it which is 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. But be careful. I really didn't just add 4. Look what I really added. If you would multiply all this back in, did you see that you really added 8? So you, this is tricky. You've got to remember to add 8. A lot of people forget this. They think they added 4, but look, do you see? If you multiply that in, it's going to make that an 8. Okay, so look how you can write this. The whole goal is you want to write this as something squared. That's why it's called completing the square. Let me hold it real steady. You're starting to get a little shaky. Okay, so x times x is going to give me the x squared. Half of 4 is 2, so this is going to be x plus 2 squared. Don't wiggle that. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. Okay, so how are you going to solve this? This is our first one like this. These really aren't that bad. Divide both sides by 2, because you want to get rid of that 2 that was out front. So I have x plus 2 squared equals 3. Okay, I'm going to move this up here, but at this point, this is where you're going to take the square root of both sides, because you're trying to get rid of that. Okay, so you're going to end up with Olivia, my little camera woman. She's doing a good job. Allison, stop. You're distracting me, and you're making shadows. Okay, so you're going to get x plus 2 equals, Olivia, are you over here? Plus or minus the square root of 3. Take this 2, move it to the other side. So you're going to do that by doing the opposite. So you're going to get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Okay. Now, I know she's getting tired and we've been doing it 9 and a half minutes, but we're going to do one more that I can see that's going to have maybe some fractions in it. So I'm looking, looking, looking. Actually, we might end up doing two more if we're not careful. Um, let's look at 11B. You're fine. 11B, number 7. There it is. Okay. Allison, there went your shadow again, honey. You know if you're getting in trouble right here on camera. Okay. Obviously, there's not factors of one-fourth that add up to five. Okay, so we're going to have to do the magic thing of called completing the square in order to solve this. Um, not only that, this also this coefficient's 1, so that's good. All this is looking good, but I'm going to take this to the other side, and I'm going to throw him. Olivia, do you need to shift real quick? Because you're in my way. You 
want to come back to my other side or what? Yes, baby. She didn't go to my other side. Quickly. Commercial break again. Okay, and Allison, don't, don't make shadows. Okay. <sighs> A squared. Why is there a shadow now? I'm so confused. There wasn't, now there is. Okay. It's not that. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. If it's a positive one-fourth on this side, it's going to be a negative one. It's not you. Negative one-fourth on that side. Okay. Here we go. We're going to have fractions. Do you remember how you find this magic term? You're going to half it and then square it. So if you do five halves, that's how you take a half of something, is you take half of it and then you square it. Notice you're going to get 25 over 4. So if I'm going to add... 25 fourths to this side, I gotta add 25 fourths to the other side. Okay? The whole reason I do that is so I can write this side as something squared. Well, that's easy. A squared, that gives me that term. Do you remember how you find this middle, this term right here? The easiest thing, I think, is just to take half of this, which remember it's right there, five halves. So it's gonna be five halves. And you can also see that when you square that, it's gonna give you 25 fourths. Okay. Negative one fourth plus twenty five fourths. There's the lovely dog. Is going to give you twenty four fourths, right? Which is six. Well, this is going to come out better than I thought. Okay, so look at what I've got here. I need to get rid of that. So do the opposite of squaring something, which is taking the square root of it, <gasps> plus or minus. Don't want to forget that. There are no perfect squares in six. So I have this, a plus 5 halves, because these cancel each other out right there, equals and plus or minus the square root of 6. So get a all by itself. Move this guy to the other side. If he's a positive on this side, when I move him over, he's going to be negative 5 halves plus or minus the square root of 6. And that really should be it. Um, all right, we're going to do one other one that has a coefficient on the front, and then Olivia can take a break, and all of you can take a break. Let me get one of my favorite colors, which is orange. And let me see something real quick. Let me set up. Okay. I don't know if that helps or not. I'm just trying to find where it's bright. Huh? I don't know what you mean. You just have to do it. Hurry, we're wasting time. You want me to come work over there? Okay. You see how we're doing? This is such a great day. I'm afraid my shadow's going to be in it again. Yeah, our shadow's in it. See, kiddo? Woo, that doesn't work. <laughs> Although it's nice and bright. Okay. Okay, we're about done here. One more problem. Sorry, you just wasted 30 seconds of your life. Um, 